Hey guys, welcome back to our new vlog. I hope you all are doing well. Now maintaining a good habit is all we want. Habit of keeping our home beautiful all the time or maintaining a productive hobby or even becoming healthy. However, it's not always easy to continue something for long term. I get this question all the time. How I maintain my home organized all the time or pursue YouTube as a hobby with a full-time corporate job? Well, if you search online, you will get many articles and videos sharing different tips. So I will not discuss those today. Instead, I will share my own experience, how I maintain my home or pursue a hobby, basically how I build good habits and what helped me in long run. If you are somebody who is struggling to keep your home organized all the time or you are not able to understand how you can pursue a side hustle or a hobby with a full-time job then do watch this video I'm sure this video will be helpful to you now we all want a beautifully decorated home but let me assure you this is not an easy task hence Break the task into smaller tasks. I always break the task into mini tasks like breaking down the home cleaning into spot cleaning, daily cleaning and weekly cleaning. Every morning when I enter the kitchen, I clean the kitchen cabinet doors with a microfiber cloth. Sometimes there is dirty water or spice marks on them from previous night's cooking. This quick step makes the cabinet shine again. Also, this cutlery tray gets dirty very often as this is directly under the hob. So I do a quick wipe in here as well. The total process takes around 10 minutes to do and I get a shiny kitchen for the full day. If you keep on doing something for 21 days, it becomes a habit for you. So yes, remember to treat this as a marathon and not as a sprint. I have adopted the habit of dusting the small knickknack areas daily or at least once in two days. Otherwise, they get super dusty. I know we cannot do dusting for the overall home daily. It's not possible always. Therefore, it is a good idea to prepare a dusting routine. As in, take up a particular area one day and another area next day. Also, do not hesitate to take help. I don't always get enough time to do the dusting daily. Therefore, I have a house help who helps me to do the daily cleaning and dusting. Also, try not to get overboarded with the display items. Only keep those many products in display which you can regularly clean and maintain. Sometimes, collectively small changes can make the big difference. Okay, now let's come to the most important point. Cleaning and organizing your home is a choice for healthy and comfortable living. But it is not an one day work. This is actually a lifestyle change. So you need to balance it in a way that it never becomes a burden. The best way is to keep a dedicated time for cleaning and organizing 
and never compromise our self care time for it it is important that we provide enough time for our health and overall well being like cooking our favorite meal well i don't always get time to cook but when i do crave for something i like to make it myself and enjoy without any hurry Just a self pampering relaxing pedicure time can give you all the boost you need. Well, to be very honest, I don't get much time to visit the parlors and that's why I'm very thankful to my beautician who visits my home and I can avail the beauty services from the comfort of my home. This saves loads of time. She is very good in her work as well. Now this is one of the other tiny choices which I have made to take care of myself. and even if you don't get the time to visit the parlor frequently or arrange a home service you can always go for a relaxing shower and that my friend is also a very effective way to relax and be present now you might be thinking why i am talking about self care here well in today's fast track world we intend to achieve so much within so little time also social media can often lead to unwanted comparison when we see a well organized sparkling home online we unknowingly tend to compare our home and this leads to stress and even a burden So next time when this happens just take a step back and understand that every home is different and not everything which we come across in social media is as it seems to be Having a relaxing time occasionally can help you to think clearly and maintain the balance like Having a relaxing tea time while watching your favorite show can help you to relax and bounce back next morning on your routine. This has helped me in long run. To balance between me time and my home time. I hope today's video could share some insight with you. on how you can maintain a long term habit of maintaining your home or pursue a hobby and enjoy it while doing so so now i will continue enjoying my tea time and you take care i will see you in the next block until then bye bye Thank you.